Yo, what's good with you? In today's video, I got the how to make an uppercut um video and stuff. Uh, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kind of tired. So if I sound kind of out of it, this is my fault. But anyway, um, okay, so pretty much explain that like the thumbnail and stuff. I know the thumbnail says uppercut and down slam. So I'm so I decided to do uh part one and part two. I just have like Mac my thumbnail maker. I just had to make one thumbnail and stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna use the thumbnail for both videos. But yeah, so you can consider this like a part one. And stuff so this is i'll show you guys how to make uppercut in this and then down slam in the next uh video and stuff but yeah so so many people have requested this video i can't even so many people <laughs> have requested this video so you know hope y'all enjoy it but anyway let's get straight into it okay so first things first um let's go ahead and insert a remote event into replicated storage we can rename said remote event combat event right or of course you're gonna need a rig to test this on um so you can click avatar rig builder and then select whatever rig you want right and then we're gonna uh, of course you're gonna need like a punch sound go to the toolbox go to audios and then just you know find a punch sound whatever you know whatever you can find um and then yeah so you want to open up starter player insert a local script and then you want to rename the script to combat script in parentheses put local so if you watch my like how to make m1 combat systems in recent combat videos you'll notice that this video uses a lot of code from like the knockback the knockback video the m1 combat the hitbox like it like this is really what a lot of my like combat videos are nowadays it's just a mixture of things that i made already before which makes making this stuff way easier but anyway let's go ahead and create our variables that we're gonna do we're gonna do local eis is equal to game get service user input service and then we're gonna uh, get the combat remote event. We're gonna say local combat event is equal to game the replicated storage. Uh, wait for child. I don't know what I was doing. Combat event. And then I'm gonna say I'm um, skipping lines and I'm gonna say UIS that to begin. Connect function in parentheses put input comma processed enter right. And I'm gonna say if input that user input type is equal to enter that user input type that keyboard and not processed enter. You're then gonna say if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code i'm gonna go with the e key bind but it's up to you guys to, to go with you know whatever or actually no 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 actually no never mind i've actually changed my mind actually i think i think about it since this is like a punch thing it would honestly make more sense to do this with like mouse button so yeah i'm gonna do it like this instead so i'm gonna say mouse button one instead so yeah i forget what i was doing so yeah then you're gonna say combat events fire server and rotation marks you're just gonna put uppercut and boom just like that guys we are done the local scripts i'm just okay i'm good so yeah we're done on the local uh the client side so we can move to the server side so inside of server script service you want to insert a server script right you're going to need uh, you know your animation you can either make them or get them from the toolbox i got both of these animations from the toolbox you can just type in knockback and then uppercut it should be pretty easy to find these animations and stuff right you can't use my animation at the stuff you have to use your own right um so that just put those animations inside of your server script rename the server script to combat script and parentheses put server you're going to delete print hello world we're going to make a couple variables first before we get into the functions we're going to first say local ts is equal to game get service queen serve i just realized we do not need the tween service okay so instead we're going to replace it with the debris service so we're going to say just change ts to ds and then just get and then change it to debris right then i'm going to get the sound service i'm going to say local ss is equal to game get service sound service for our sound effects right then i'm going to get the combat mode events well we can really copy and paste that from the local script to save ourselves some time so control c control v and then lastly i'm going to create a can't be attacked table so local can't be attacked these are players who cannot be attacked they're just generally npcs and and stuff and npcs and players right so it's equal to special brackets is how we create a table so players who can't be attacked which means they're currently being attacked so first function we're going to create a hitbox for the for all our players and stuff right and then the second and then the second function is going to be the actual function where like you know we actually are you know dealing damage and stuff this is just setting up the hitbox so we're going to say game that players that player added um connect function and parentheses put plr for player then enter then you're going to say player dot character add so every time a player's character every time a player uh, when the player first runs the game on and then when they every time they die this function will run so we're going to say connect function and parentheses put character enter then we're going to create the hitbox we're going to say local hitbox is equal to instance dot new in quotation marks put part then i'm going to we're going to parent it to the characters humanoid root part right then we're going to create a weld constraint so it's welded to the player's uh body so we're going to say local weld constraint is equal to instance dot new in quotation marks put 
world constraint then parent this to the hitbox then you're simply just going to say world constraint dot part zero is equal to hitbox and world constraint dot part one is equal to character dot humanoid root part right then when we're, we're going to get into the hitbox property so first thing first we're going to hitbox that name is equal to quotation marks hitbox then you're going to say hitbox dot anchored we do not want it to be anchored so hitbox anchored is equal to false then we do want it to be massless so we're going to say massless is equal to true then we're going to say hitbox can't collide of course we do not want this to be enabled so false right and then we're going to hit the transparency hitbox the transparency if you're testing it like you want to see how big the hitbox is i would recommend Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that must be new. That's literally what I was going to type. I'm not going to That's literally what I was going to type. Well, that's cool. Uh, that must be a new thing with update anyway. But yeah, what you guys are looking at is, well, not exactly what I was going to put, but that's pretty much what I was, what I was going to put. But anyway, so yeah, so you want to say hitbox transparency is equal to one, right? Then, um, it, oh, like I was saying, sorry, I got distracted by that. But anyway, if you want to test it, I recommend doing like 0 0.5 or you can just do zero and stuff if you if you want to test it. But of course, you don't want players to actually be able to see it in the real game. So tra set transparency equal to one. Then hitbox size, you guys can mess around with the size to get your desired size, but I'm going to say vector three dot new. And I'm going to do five comma six comma 5.5. .5 right then i'm gonna set the color i'm gonna say hitbox.color i want it to be a nice red color so color three dot new is one comma zero comma zero right then i'm gonna say hitbox pivot to character that humanoid root part that c frame boom right let me just okay i'm good right then i'm gonna move on to the second function i'm gonna say combat event dot on server event connect function in parentheses put p larger for the player comma event type enter let's scroll down a little then we're gonna get the player's character. Let's say local character is equal to player dot character. Then I'm gonna say if event type is equal to in quotation marks upper cut enter right. Then you want to um what's it called? Then we want to set up the animation track. So let's say local at is equal to character that humanoid load animation in uh, parentheses and in quotation marks. You're gonna get your uh upper cut animation. So, oh, sorry, you can say script, regular brackets, quotation marks, then get your uppercut animation. Then you're going to, and then on the next line, you're going to say AT play, right? Then we're going to, of course, play the sound effect. So, punch sound play. And then I'm going to uh, say character dot humanoid root part dot hitbox dot can touch is equal to true. Wait. I feel like I'm forgetting something, I'm not going to lie. Because now that I really think about it, um, uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, no, 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 I don't think it should matter anyway. Yeah, yeah moving on, sorry. I was thinking about something anyway. So I'm going to say character that humanoid root part dot hitbox dot touched connect function, right? And then it, Parentheses, you're going to put hit, enter, and then you're going to set up if statement. You're going to say if hit dot parent find first child in quotation marks humanoid. So it's either an NPC or a player, right? And of course, hit dot parent that name is nil equal to player name. So they're, of course, not damaging themselves. And not table dot find can't be attacked. Hit that parent name. Of course, make sure that they are able to be attacked, right? Then we're going to set up a variable for the enemy character since we've confirmed all all of all of, the, all of that so we're going to say local enemy character is equal to hit dot parent boom right then we're going to insert the name into the table so table dot insert can't be attacked comma enemy character dot name or n not plan we need to add or at least i need to if i mean if you guys made this mistake then you guys fix it too then anyway we're going to say character dot humanoid root uh humanoid root part that hitbox that can't touch is equal to false right then i'm gonna of course deal the damage so enemy character dot humanoid that health is less than equal to 10 or however much damage you're trying to do then i'm gonna set up the i'm gonna set up the knockback or yeah because it's a mixture of like knockback and then like you know you're knocking them back plus up, upward too so we're gonna say local attachment 
is equal to instance dot new in quotation marks put attachment parent this to the characters humanoid root part right then we create a linear velocity local linear velocity is equal to instance dot new in quotation marks put linear velocity parent this to the attachment then you're going to set some properties you're going to say linear velocity dot max force is equal to five nines one two three four five right then i'm going to set the vector velocity so linear velocity that vector velocity is equal to in parentheses put to character that humanoid root or that position minus the complete opposite so enemy character dot humanoid part that position go on the outside and then you're going to say dot unit times vector three dot new and then you're going to say zero comma negative 300 comma negative 40. okay so you guys can mess around with these values to get your desired result so um if you don't know if you know you don't you didn't learn base you didn't learn middle school math okay so y is up and down so since this is negative 300 and stuff this means it's gonna you know i'm gonna go upward so adjust this number if you want You're, if you want them to go higher go lower right then the z value is forward and backward so this is what's knocking them backwards so adjust that value if you want them to go further back or not as far back they round the numbers to you to get your uh, desired result. Then lastly, we're going to say linear velocity that attachment zero is equal to attachment, right? Then we're going to use the debris service to say ds add item. And we're going to add the attachment with the lifetime of 0 0.1 second, right? Then I'm going to say task that weight 0 0.1 second. Then I'm going to play the knockback animation track. So we can really come, come up here and then just copy paste this. Control C, Control V. You can just name this AT2, AT2. And then you're going to change character to enemy character and then change this to your knockback animation, whatever type of knockback animation you got, whether you made it or got it from the toolbox or whatever, right? And then I'm going to throw another task that was task that wait 0.1 seconds. And then lastly, we're going to remove the name from the table. So table dot remove can't be attacked. And then we're going to do table that fine can't be attacked on the enemy character dot name right then i'm going to go after the two ends and then i'm just going to say task that wait 0 0.2 seconds this is just to make sure that like the player isn't still able to uh the player uh hitbox isn't still enabled and stuff if they don't make contact with a uh, player or npc so we can just copy that paste it boom set this to false right and then just like that guys we're done we can go in test to make sure everything works and yeah so as always if you guys want access to any of my scripts and models you guys can become either a channel member or a discord subscriber link to either one of those options can be found in the description then yeah let's go ahead and test okay so if i walk up to the ring and i okay so am i close enough boom why is it and i i can already tell i did the knockback wrong <laughs> There we go. Okay, okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I did this wrong. So, okay, you don't want to parent this to the character. You want to parent the attachment to the end character. Sorry, parent this to the end character. Humanoid root part. I'm like, why am I moving forward? Okay, let's test this now. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Or not? Okay. Okay, yeah, there we go boom so as you guys can see now if you seem to have like a little delay if you want the animation to play uh s sooner not as quick like like i said mess around with the wait times and stuff you can adjust this to you know your liking but yeah so it lifts so it uh launches them up in the air a little bit and stuff uh if you want like them to go higher in the air recommend setting this to like 500 600 that's when they like launch them really really high in the air but yeah so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and subscribe if you guys need help any errors or anything join my discord Join my Discord server, link you find in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.